This is the first You Try It video that corresponds with Lecture 1 of MathSpace Tutoring's Pre-Algebra course. This course is brought to you by MathSpace Tutoring for all your math tutoring needs. Please contact us on Facebook at facebook.com slash MathSpace Tutoring. This textbook that corresponds with this course is available for free on the OpenStax website at openstax.org slash details slash books slash pre-algebra dash 2e. The first you try it video, you try it 1.1. Which of the following numbers are A, counting numbers, and B, whole numbers? So we're going to go through each of these numbers and decide whether they belong in A or B. Zero is a whole number. It is not a counting number, so it will belong in B. We never discussed fractions, so we know that two-thirds is not a counting number. Also, if anyone ever asks you to count to two-thirds, look at them like you're crazy. Two is a counting number. Well, in fact, it's the second counting number. One, two. So it will go in A. If we keep continuing to count, we'll eventually cross nine, which is a counting number, and it will belong in A. 11.8 is not a counting number. If we got to 11, we would skip it and go straight to 12. 11.8 is not going to be in either list. But if we continue to count, eventually we'll reach 241 and then 376. Both of these are counting numbers. So the counting numbers we have in our list are 2, 9, 241, and 376. And the whole numbers are the counting numbers and zero. And zero just happens to be in our list. So the counting numbers are zero, two, nine, 241, and 376. You try it, 1.2. Which of the following numbers are counting numbers or whole numbers? And we're gonna do the same thing we just did in the previous problem, except we have a new list of numbers. Let's start with zero. We know zero is not a counting number, but it is a whole number. Five thirds is a fraction. We haven't dealt with fractions. So most likely, and it, it is the fact that five thirds is not a counting number. But if we continue to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is a counting number. So seven will be in our list. 8.8 .8, or eight and eight tenths is not a counting number. So we will not include eight and eight tenths in our list. But if we continue to count eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 will be in our list. And if we continue to count for quite some time, we will eventually reach 201, which is a counting number. So the counting numbers are seven, 13, and 201. And the whole numbers are just the counting numbers and zero. So the count whole numbers are going to be 0, 7, 13, and 201. And one thing I want to point out about this is if 0 is not in this list, it does not go in the answer. 0 is not automatically included in the whole numbers list unless it's in the given list of numbers we're asked to go through. That's going to do it for our first You Try It video. Thank you for watching.